David, your assessment of that one? Yeah, frustrating, uh, disappointing. Um, I think we we started well. First 15, 20 minutes, um, we were good. We created our moments. Uh, unfortunately, maybe the last touch uh, or the, the shot on target we missed, uh, but we played ex exactly in the right spaces. Uh, then we conceded um, a goal after um, after, after a counter, where we jump where we shouldn't jump, but obviously, yeah, can happen. You can see the goal, but then uh, we lost uh, totally the the focus, and we didn't play um, in the right areas. Yeah, we had a lot of ball possession, but never really uh, attacked there. Uh, in behind, we really never went. Uh, forward in the right areas uh, we only played around them and uh, this was then um, just not good enough to be fair and then obviously we started as well to discuss with the referee and with the force official and we fight with them rather than to 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 play and let them run like we've done in the first 20 minutes and this was uh, very very disappointing and this is why we um, conceded this defeat a deserved defeat at the end of the day yeah as you say i mean second half particularly it was it was very intense it felt on the pitch just just clarify with, with ashley barnes there was there any suggestion he might have taken an elbow from their player that sparked that yeah listen uh, it was intense yes and they they wanted to that we fight with them they they obviously uh, used body contact uh, but you have to be calm you have to go away from it and uh, do your stuff, play football, and don't get drug into the situation. Uh, get the crowd uh, on their side. Uh, so we we've done more or less everything wrong. What you what you what you can do when you play here, especially against Millwall away. So everybody, especially our experienced players, know exactly what it's uh, what it's about here. And uh, yeah, we, we we lost our head and totally played to your card. And this is what yeah what what makes me really angry today because um, after. Uh, how we started, we clearly were able to get something out of this game, and um, now we have to honestly say we deserve this defeat. As you rightly said, there you've broken the game down. I think 16 minutes in, you've had four or five very good chances, and then they score. And there was a prolonged period, as you rightly said, there that you didn't really test the keeper. I mean, can you put your finger on it straight after the game? But having started so well and got that base and that platform, and you're creating chances, you concede, and then. Your players have struggled to pick up the pace again. Huh? Can you put your finger on why that is? Yeah, at the end of the day, it's quite easy. We haven't continued to uh, to do what we've done before in this first uh, 16, 20 minutes, as you said. So uh, there we attacked the space, there we made the runs in behind, unselfish runs uh, where you can stretch them, where you then can find the pocket. There we overlapped or underlapped, uh, put the ball into the box. Uh, so everything what you have to do against them... Uh, Good in the counter press as well, but uh, later on, as I said, we fought more than with them rather than we played, uh, and uh, this is exactly what you shouldn't do if you if you play here against them. And um, again, this is um, why we are very very disappointing about ourselves uh, and the performances, and that we that we so so extremely played into their cards. Uh, clearly, you're not probably going to be looking for too many positives at the moment. You, you, we can sense you're not happy with that performance from your side, but there is one in, in Josh Sargent's return. Um, what made you think today was 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 the you know the, the opportunity to bring him in, given that he's only come back to training on Christmas Day? Yeah, we always had in the back of our head that if we can, we will give him 10, 15 minutes today um, to 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 bring him on the grass uh, to get uh, some competitiveness uh, into his body as well, and obviously. Um, he has to he has to have football uh, team football and not train and uh, in this period the only uh, opportunity more or less to uh, get the players uh, uh, football is in the games and uh, obviously for the players who were out for quite a long time it's not the perfect scenario but we wanted to use this today and um, yeah but he unfortunately were not able to find the pockets um, as well a couple more on this game if I can. Just clarify, David, no Shane Duffy tonight and no Dimmy as well. What were the reasons behind those two? Yeah, Duffy we only rested. Um, he will be ready for Monday and um, Dimmy's um, surgery we pushed forward because he still had pain. Uh, so he got the uh, surgery today. Um, it, it, it was only minor surgery but it has to, do, do, uh, it has to be done. 
uh, this is what they've done today. This, will, this means he will miss uh, Monday, but uh, he should be ready then for the Cup. You took Ashley Barnes off. Um, were you always going to take him off at that point, or was it because you feared that he might get sent off? No, we had this in the back of our head anyway. That's one of the red cards at the end, David. That was obviously quite a cynical late lunge on Jonathan Rowe. I think there are often tackles that we often see a yellow card you give him for. Obviously, sent him off. But what are your thoughts on that incident and I think it was the right decision? It's it's a difficult one. To be fair. Um, we all together know what, what he wanted to do. He wanted to uh, uh, stop the counter. Uh, but how he's done it is quite dangerous, isn't it? Uh, so if then it's a holding to, to it's something different rather than uh, to make such a, such, a, such a hard, harsh tackle, to be fair. And uh, then you are always a little bit on the brink. Uh, you are right. I've seen um, yellow cards given for fouls like this, but I've seen red cards as well, to be fair, and this is why I think uh, it is a decision which you uh, then have to expect, uh, have to uh, respect. Just finally, yeah, you look at the fixture list and quite tough looking one of games coming up in Southampton, West Brom, Hull and Leeds. How confident are you that these players can you know, pick themselves up and you know, hopefully regain sort of another winning run? The, the, the fixture, to be fair, uh, is how it is. Um, you have to play against every team anyway. So um, maybe it's quite uh, the right thing after such a disappointing um, evening which we had today to play now against our seven, the team which is, I think, unbeaten now in, in, in 17 or 18 um, to, to have the focus right. And um, yeah, the good thing in this period is uh, the next game is just around the corner and uh, we will be there on Monday.